Well, let me say two or three things, Padmaja. Uh, Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad is a friend of mine. But I was frankly taken aback that he chose to harp on the fact as to when the video came out and sought to derive a sinister conspiracy from it rather than, like the Prime Minister, unreservedly express shock and grief and hang his head in shame like all Indians at what has happened. That's point number one. Point number two, I think there are some occasions when political rivalry should cease. A video of this kind, and I am not saying that atrocities against women happen only in Manipur. Let us say a video of this kind comes out which shocks the conscience of the nation. Why could not Parliament, invoking Rule 267, suspend other discussion and have a discussion immediately with not only the Home Minister, but with the Prime Minister participating. Frankly, and I am not in any political party, so I don't speak with bias. I am surprised at the Prime Minister's silence on a sensitive border state like Manipur for the last 77 days. It has been going on. People are dying. The state is burning. And the one person who has the greatest influence on the national scene neither visits the state nor makes a statement. Prime Ministers lead from the front. Hmm. So I, I, I think frankly the Prime Minister after his statement outside Parliament should have come in and said let us collectively discuss this and last point, last point, hmm. I'll take 20 seconds. Hmm. You see Padmaja, please understand, there is somewhere a very serious development taking place of disturbing the ethno-religious balance in India in different sectors.